I remember you. Do you remember me? Yes. Are we gonna adopt you? Do you wanna just live here with us? Come. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Good day, Mabu High Squad. How are you doing? Did you sleep well? Clearly I did. I still have bedhead. Guys, look. They're installing the ceiling on the first floor. See that? Isn't that awesome? Guys, our first floor has will soon have a complete ceiling. We are here again at the Mabu High Squad farmhouse. Um, checking up on uh, the construction. Yes, and we're happy to have you along as usual. If you're new to the vlogs, welcome to the channel. My name is Mikey Bustos. Be sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Join our Mabu High Squad. We will be your daily dose of positive vibes online. Wow, this is so interesting. So I didn't know this is how ceilings are done. <laughs> so like, they add these little brackets, right? I mean, these long brackets. They add the lattice work and then they take gypsum board and they drill it, I guess, into these, into the metal lattice work. And then I guess what they do is they patch up every one of these little screws, I guess. These little nails or whatever is being put into there. They add a plaster over that and then they, they paint. I guess that's what they do. And I guess along each of the spaces as well so that it's completely smooth. Oh, how interesting. Uh, guys, it's a beautiful day. Look at the sun in the aviary. Gorgeous day. Um, the workers are currently on break, so I'm gonna go around and see what's up. RJ is somewhere here, not sure where he is. Now, <laughs> speaking of which, I realized that living in a house with this much space, I think I will lose RJ often. Like, I wonder where RJ is. You know, like, I, it, I have so many places to go to go look for him, look, go look around for him. Like, it's so easy to hide in this house. And I'm usually used to being where RJ is. Like, I know it's like, not healthy, <laughs> so they say, but I like being where RJ is. Um, so I'll follow him. And I think I'm gonna do that when we live here. <laughs> I'll just follow him all over the house. But this house will be smart. So I do wonder if there will be a way for me to be like, um, hey Google, where is RJ? And then like a voice will say, RJ is in the kitchen cooking pizza. Something like that. Um, I don't know, who knows. But let's go look for RJ. Oh, guys, look. They've already started laying out the tiles for the master bedroom. <gasps> oh, see that? Ooh, awesome. Okay, well, spoiler alert. These are the tiles for the master bedroom. They look like this, um, minus all the streaks of mud. I think what we might do is um, have walkie-talkies so that we could just like radio anyone, like let's say any of the help staff, like Ate Elsie or Koya Roman or RJ. RJ, where are you? Um, I think we can do that with our mobiles now, right? Gotta figure that out. Oh, look! We have door frames. They've installed the door frames for the Joseph room. See that? Awesome. And for this bedroom here. Awesome. I love looking at complete flooring. <gasps> That's great. Oh my gosh, guys, there's a cat. A white one. See it? There are random cats that live around, as you've seen in previous vlogs. I think this one's not that afraid of people. Hi there, come here. I remember you, do you remember me? Yes. Are we gonna adopt you? Do you wanna just live here with us? Come. 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 Yeah. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh, goodbye. Oh. The cats here have trust issues, um, <laughs> which is okay. Oh my gosh. Speaking of cats, guys. So the other day, I didn't vlog it, but Sahara, our um, Yorkshire Terrier slash Chihuahua slash Bichon Frise, brought into the house a massive rat. Literally plopped it on our couch, a dead rat, and was over it. I don't know if she killed the rat or if she had found the rat already dead in the yard and brought it in the house, but we were shocked. Um, if she did kill that rat, a little part of me is proud of her. <laughs> she savaged Sahara. She because it means she's a ratter. Like, you know, Yorkshire Terriers, they were originally bred as ratters. Oh, most of the terrier category are. 
to, you know, hunting and killing rats. So, I mean, it's not too far-fetched that Sahara hunted down this rat and killed it. Literally, guys, it was a foot-long rat. Um, I wanted to vlog it, but RJ had already thrown it away. Um, but yeah, that's good to know that Sahara can kill rats, if that's the case. And of all our dogs, it would definitely be Sahara who's strong enough and like matapang enough, as they say in Tagalog, to kill a rat. There you guys are. There's RJ and Kathy C. King, our interior designer. Like There's Don. Hi, Don. Hi. <laughs> our project manager for the home. My guys, dog. Kathy is so healthy and good. She makes her own baon. Yeah. So healthy. I need to bring my own baon. Good for you. Another cat. Hi there. This is the cat that lives in the pipe. Hi. Oh. Alright, the cat is totally just chilling out back there. I can see it. It's way in the shadows. Guys, I'm watching them tile the bathroom and wow, they make sure it's even and they use like that leveler. How awesome! And he uses some like rubber mallet to like hammer it into place, I guess. Stick it to the wall. Awesome. What is that? All these different instruments. Just reviewing the Joseph room. I didn't realize, but the Joseph room already has pin lights installed. Guys, look, we have new baby banana trees growing along the line here, along the Gaia's path. There's another baby banana tree. I love how it just, like, I guess through the underground, it sends out like runners and these baby bananas just banana trees just pop up like side by side and I guess it'll continue going down this way. I love that. You can constantly have new bananas. See? And they grow pretty big, this species. This here by the way is called Saba. I eat it every day. It's my favorite, most commonly eaten fruit. Well, maybe not my favorite fruit, but it's the fruit I eat the most out of all fruits. I have some every day. Looks like that. Looks like bananas. Now, it's locally known as Saba, and it's a cultivar, as they call it, of the regular Cavendish bananas that most people eat. But it's native to the Philippines. It's native to here. Um, and so it's very abundant here in the Philippines. Um, and very affordable and it's a great carb guys high in potassium fiber carbs all that great stuff and I love that it just grows here it's perfect so we're looking at the modular material for the various rooms this here is what they're gonna use for the ant room Ooh, I love this black it looks like wood but the patterns are almost the same no? see ant room. looks like black oh it's gonna look really nice the cabinets in the end room. They even have like, see, this is for the bathroom of the Joseph room. <laughs> it's made of, is this quartz? This looks like granite. I think it's like that. Granite? Yeah. Okay, this is granite for the Joseph room. Well, this the bathroom, uh, for I guess for the counter and stuff. Sweet. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this tile. It's huge. And apparently this is the tile for the hallway of the second floor. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, and it's gonna feel so good on the feet. It's so beautiful. So for those of you asking, um, yes, the home will be as sustainable as possible. So we will have solar panels, but that will have to be during a phase B. Like we're gonna move in before we have solar panels. Um, that's just gonna have to follow uh, because that is a pretty major installment. Our house already has the provisions for um, solar panels at the top. Um, and our roof is also designed to handle the weight of all the solar panels. And guys, solar panels, it's a big process to install. And um, you guys will be seeing more videos about that in the future, uh, the installation of our sol solar panels. And hopefully we can be as off the grid as possible. Like uh, hopefully we can get the majority of our electricity from our solar panels, but for now we will just have to get our electricity from the city still. Our water comes from a well. Mm -hmm. um, our 
like sewage and waste goes into a septic tank which needs to be emptied out once a year I believe um, so that's interesting I don't think I've ever lived in a place that has its own septic tank you know uh, that was that's that's cool so guys this special tile here is the tile that we chose for the flooring of the anteroom of the first floor of the anteroom now originally I wanted the floor like super dark but then the entire end room will kind of look black so I'm okay with the floor uh, looking a little light the reason why I needed dark colors for the end room is for filming wise I didn't want the light colors to show up in the reflections of the tanks uh, while filming so uh, we've minimized light colors but I'm okay with a light colored floor because I don't think I'll be filming on an angle pointing downwards that often um, and if I if I do I can always cover the floor and the front of the tank with black cloth so I can eliminate that problem But I love this tile. Look at it. Isn't it great? Cute, right? So more tiles arrived. See really nice Gorgeous gorgeous. Can't wait for them to be installed. All right guys. Let's see our positive affirmation for Wednesday March the 16th. We've got several to do guys. I accept my power. I know that I am quite capable of handling each day as it unfolds. I know that many new adventures lie before me and I am eager to experience them all. There is no need for me to struggle. I trust the universe to take care of me. I release all control to the universe. I am at peace with myself and with life. I choose to stay flexible and just flow through today. I do not fix problems, I fix my thinking, then problems fix themselves. Ooh, and finally, positive affirmation for Tuesday, March the 22nd. All that I need to help me on my healing pathway is here and now. There you go guys, hope you enjoy those positive affirmations. Woo, we are now home, gosh. It's coming together guys. Thanks so much for watching today's vlog on today's update on the house uh, Sorry, haven't been uploading every day like this channel used to um, It's just been trying to focus on work other things uh, But promise once we move I think upload schedule will increase or the production of these vlogs will get better We're kind of in a transition period now, but if you do want to follow me I upload every day on my Facebook and my Instagram so be sure to follow those accounts so I will see you guys in the next vlog guys thank you so much and be a light in this world thanks for watching bye